This one's on a front end to Aria 2C. It's um, called with a Web UI Aria 2. And if you don't know what Aria 2 is, is basically a downloading utility. So you can download like basic HTML, not HTML, HTTP files uh, or torrent files and meta links. So you can do those three. And so let me show you the web UI first and I'll show you how to set it up or how I set it up uh, at the end. Mine's a little bit different from uh, what they want you to do, but how to use this here. So this is the web interface and you can actually add by your eyes. So this is mainly like, you know, if you run over a uh, HTTP link, like um, a JPEG file or MP4 or an ISO file, so on and so forth, you just paste it in here and just hit start and that's it. It'll download to your download folder, whatever you set it to, right? Um, there's advanced settings down here, but you don't need that shit. Um, next thing, you can actually download torrents. Or, I mean, yeah, download torrent files. It's, it's pretty weird here because you have to actually download the torrent first and then choose the file, which is a little inconvenient. So I just wish they had like a pacing, you know, the link in there, but they don't do that. Uh, so that's how you do that. And the next thing is meta links. Pretty much the same thing as the torrent. You have to actually download the meta links uh, file, a very small file, and then you choose it and then it'll actually download it after you load it up into this program a little inconvenience also as far as the settings in here they have connection settings so you can actually set password and stuff like that for your uh, RPC um, which we're not going to do because I only recommend using this program in your local area network I don't really recommend over the internet anything but just know that you could do that if you wanted to um, these are the global settings so on and so forth. You don't need to mess around with this because we're not going to do any of that shit. Uh, and then you can manage your pause all, resume, and then purge completed. So let me. Uh, oh, yeah, there's this extension for Chrome or Chromium. Maybe there's one for Firefox too, but I don't use that. But uh, if you download that extension, you can do this. So, for example, we have our Linux Mint 17 here. And these are just ISO links. So you can go download from them. So let's say I want to download this one. I just right click on here and you see it has this option download with ARIA 2. So that's what the extension does. So it just, you know, allow you to download it quickly and you see it queues in here and it'll start downloading. Uh, and you can see the speed and all that shit. Uh, if you click on it, it will show you more information if you want. Uh, that's it for that. And for torrents, you can actually do this straight from magnet links. Don't use the torrent link, use the magnet links. So they have the little, I don't know, what is that the, the magnet logo, whatever. Uh, and then you right click on it and you go download with ARIA. And I'll send it to the queue here. And, you know, do its thing. And it'll start uh, downloading from, you know, the cedars and all that. So that's pretty much how it works. It's the same thing like in the command line, but you have a web interface here right now if you want to stop this you just hit pause or what is this stop button here and I'll stop it right turns back to was that orange stop this sucker too if you want to remove it you actually hit the stop button again and it'll you know remove it and all that uh, that's pretty much it for the you know web interface not that fucking hard now, the way that they want you to do it um, with this, what is that here? So this is where you get the, you know, the ARIA, or the, the Web UI ARIA 2 program here. It's basically just JavaScript and CSS and, and just a HTML file here. And this is actually your web interface, right? So you can do a git clone and to clone it, or if you don't want to use that, you can do download the zip file. And extract it and have all these files in there okay uh, it's a really inconvenient because they want you to download this HTML file on all your computers um, if you want to use the web you know interface which is uh, what I do not want to do I usually just want to if I'm on my laptop or tablet or whatever it is I would just want to 
connect to a you know an IP and a port and then use the web interface like I normally do with all my other programs that I run for my server uh, and this program you know doesn't do that which I wish they did but we can use this other uh, thing that we learned in the past if you watch my video on the Python simple HTTP server you can actually use that to host this uh, index HTML file here and it'll run it like a web interface and so you can actually just uh, you know remotely connect to it um, and then use it so that's what we're gonna do and I'll show you how to do this here or how I set it up so this is just my alias or function to it um, so the program here okay so first you want to set up your download location where you want it to be because some people you know they want it a different place so we want it to go to our download folder when we download it and this one is the daemon uh, that will run aria 2c in the background so we want it to you know run in the background here as a daemon but we want to use it at the download location as our download location here uh, down here, this is where the Python simple HTTP server will work. So what we're going to do is we'll tell it to use the uh, web UI aria 2c program. Um, the index, you know, HTML thing here. That's where we're going to host it. We're going to host it on port, uh, what was that, 6801 here. And we're going to run the Python code for that. And that's how that works. This one's using Python 3. If you're on an older machine and you have Python 2, then use this one here, right? So comment uh, this out if you're using the older one and undo the other one uh, if you don't have Python 3 and so on and so forth. Uh, so how do you connect to this? You connect it using the, um, what was that? Uh, if you're using a local host, you do local host, you know, and then the port number is 6801. If you're using uh, it over on another computer within your home network you can use your your router IP that they give you or if you're using over the internet use your real IP and then the port number just make sure it's uh, port forwarded on your router if you want to do that again I don't recommend doing this over well especially my way because the uh, Python HTTP server it's it's not very secure so I only recommend doing it within your home network right uh, so that's it for that and that's the you know the script that you would run here if you want to quit this is the quitting script here or yeah uh, function I mean uh, so how you use this here is copy and paste that into your bash RC or ZSHRC whatever you're using and all you gotta do let's quit that thing out here we'll do a quit right this will terminate uh, either ARIA from the background and also the server so if I reload this here it doesn't work right so this is still uh, what was that localhost uh, 6801 if I run it now aria 2c web UI here it'll run it in the background and you can actually connect it to your local host here and so you'll refresh this here and you have your web UI so you can actually use this uh, either from your laptop you know any other device that can connect uh, you know over Wi-Fi or whatever then you can actually just put in your uh, your IP of this computer so which is my computer here is IP a so I would connect uh, either was that uh, 192.168.1.100 and then I'll just post in that uh, port which is 6801 here right and it'll connect to it like that. If you're doing this over, you know, your router or something, that's how it looks like. Uh, if you're doing it over the internet, you want to get your real IP and then connect it that way. Again, I don't recommend that, but that's how you do it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the program. I'll link everything that I've talked about. And if you want to learn about the uh, other stuff I talked about on my old videos, I'll link those in the description also. That's pretty much it for this one. I'm losing my voice here. Um, that'll be it.